Hi guys, welcome back to the Hugh Jeffries video. In this video, I'm going to be discussing whether it is possible to install a battery from a newer iPhone into an older generation phone, giving it better battery life. Now in most cases, the battery connectors are different, so the battery wouldn't connect. But I noticed during a previous repair that I was able to charge an iPhone 7 battery on my charging board using the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus and 6 Plus connection on the charger. And that got me thinking, would an iPhone 7 battery work in an iPhone 6S? After doing some research online, I found mixed results with some saying it didn't work or could even damage your iPhone, and another saying that they had been successful in installing one of these and received much better battery life. Now the stock iPhone 6S battery has a charge capacity of 1750mAh, whereas the iPhone 7 battery comes in at 1960mAh, which would bring better battery life to an iPhone 6S. Now for this video I'm going to be using this success which I have yet to refurbish and fix up but you can see it isn't able to determine the health of the battery and that's as a result of really cheap low quality knockoff parts. This should actually get a whole separate video just because of how dodgy this is. The original purchaser of this phone actually got ripped off thinking it was a new phone. Now, the first thing I'll need to do is take out the old battery, making sure to disconnect it first before removing the display, as I don't want to fry anything on the board. Next, I'll need to remove the Taptic engine, which will give me enough clearance to access the battery tabs much easier than if I was to leave it in, which makes it much less likely to damage the tab uh, when pulling it out, which would require a lot of prying to remove the battery. With both tabs now removed, the battery falls free, and I can take this knockoff Apple battery out of the phone. Reinstalling the display, I can now test out an iPhone 7 battery, which is just a replacement aftermarket battery into the iPhone 6S. Surely enough, the connectors are compatible, and pressing and holding the power button, the phone displays the Apple logo. Now I can continue to let the phone boot up, and you can see that it actually powers on. I was quite surprised at this point that an iPhone 7 battery would actually power on the iPhone 6S, given the 0.2 volt difference between the iPhone 7 and 6S batteries. In 3U tools for Windows, it shows up with the correct milliamp hours and battery health. I did, however, experience an unexpected shutdown and restart, and after taking a look, the phone was back at 1%, which wasn't looking good. Now, if I connected up the charger, it would jump all the way to 3%, and then shortly after, I just decided to watch a couple of YouTube videos and try and drain the battery flat. Instead, it actually went up to 19%, which wasn't looking good for this iPhone 7 battery. So I thought I might as well test out an official Apple battery to make sure that I didn't just have a faulty aftermarket battery. So sure enough, cracking out a iPhone 7 battery that I actually removed from an iPhone 7 that had never been opened, it shared the same issue, going back to 1%. If I jump into settings and into the battery, you can see that it comes up as service and that it is unable to determine the health of the battery. It should also be noted that the cable itself is actually longer than the iPhone 6S battery, so it results in the battery sitting lower in the phone. You could get around that by bending the cable and making it work, but either way, there is some issues with compatibility given the chips inside the battery, which is responsible for protection circuits such as overcharge or over voltage, as well as just providing the phone with data and its percentage and health as well as milliamp hours and things like that. So the difference in between the iPhone 7 and 6S batteries obviously cause conflict with the phone itself and the chips um, can't talk together properly or something like that. So they're not compatible in that way. So not only is the connector slightly longer, it isn't able to reliably power an iPhone 6S. But on the other hand, if you had to quickly test out a 6S, you could theoretically use an iPhone 7 battery or any other battery with the same connector as the iPhone 6S. Taking a look at an iPhone 6S battery, you'll find it has 1,715 milliamp hours of charge. 
Compare that to an iPhone 7, which has 1,960. And lastly, looking at the iPhone 8 battery, you'll find it has a charge capacity of 1,821 milliamp hours, which is less than the iPhone 7 battery. Whether that was used as a marketing technique to push people to buy the more expensive iPhone 10, I do not know. But in terms of dimensions, they're almost identical with just the iPhone 8 having a different connector. So basically, can you use an iPhone 7 battery in an iPhone 6s to receive better battery life? Not really. Theoretically it works, but it's not reliable and I would not recommend doing it in a phone. Maybe there's a rare case that you could use it as a test battery, but personally I'd be trying to steer clear as it could damage certain chips on your phone given the different circuitry in each generation of iPhone battery. And that's a really important thing to take out of this video. Given the circuitry inside the battery that communicates with the phone, it is very unlikely a newer battery from a newer iPhone would work in an older generation phone, even if you did modify the battery connector. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button and consider checking out the iPhone playlist for more videos just like this one. Also, make sure to follow me on my social media, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.